Hey guys, welcome back. Jumping right into today's video, I'm going to start by removing my makeup with these Neutrogena Cleansing Wipes. I really have been liking these. I also love Target's Up and Up brand or Mascara Beauties. Anything that's good for sensitive skin and doesn't have anything harsh in it will be great. I also really like cleansing oils. If you're more sensitive, you may want to try a cleansing oil versus a wipe. And I like to start with my skin first, and then I'll do my eyes last. That way I'm not spreading any of that eye makeup onto my face because it can cause a breakout. I highly recommend taking this step to remove that initial layer of makeup, and that way you'll get a better cleanse of your skin. Now I'm going in with my Lyra Bioenzyme Cleanser. I did talk about this in my 2017 Skincare Favorites video, so if you want to know more about this, you can check out that video. But I like to take this pretty much on dry skin first, and then as I rinse, I'll kind of suds it up and spread it around some more, and that'll just make sure we really remove that makeup and dirt on the skin. And I really like that this is gentle, but it still provides a little bit of exfoliation, and my skin feels so soft after this. If any of you are wondering what the mark on my forehead is, I burnt myself with my straightener. I swear I do this like once a week. If you do the same thing, you should let me know. <laughs> but I am just rinsing and drying my skin before I go in with my mask. This is the Sephora Blue Clay Mask. I like to do a mask or a treatment at least once a week. This one is purifying and it will really help give you that deep clean, help with tone and texture. It has kaolin, charcoal, uh, shea butter, and it does have little granules in it as well that will help exfoliate as you apply it. And then I like to just let it sit and dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. So once I rinse that off, I like to tone with this Mario Badescu Facial Spray. It's got aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It smells amazing and it feels really good. It just hydrates and helps bring the skin's pH level back to normal. So I'll spritz it on there and then tap it in with my fingers. And then I'll go in with my nightly lip treatment. This is the Dermalogica Lip Treatment. This will really help with fine lines and wrinkles and just give you that extra level of hydration that a chapstick can't really give. So I've really been liking this at night. And then I will go in with my eye cream. I've been using this CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And this is supposed to help with puffiness, dark circles, and just helps with like any crepiness under the eyes that can happen if you're dry. So I like to just lightly pat this in all around my eyes. For my moisturizer, you guys know I've been loving this Milk Moisturizer from Mascara Beauty. If you follow me on my social media, which you should be, <laughs> I always talk about things that I'm loving and this is one of them. This moisturizer is so awesome. My skin has never felt so soft and I feel like it's really helping with any pigment on my skin and just overall smoothness. It does have lactic acid, which is great for discoloration, hydrating, um, texture, all that good stuff. And now I like to top it off with my Mystique Illuminating Oil from Lyra as well. And this is just kind of an extra. You don't need to do both of these steps, but I like to just really lock in the moisture with a beauty oil. And this just gives my skin like that extra glow and really helps if I'm extra dry. So that's pretty much it for my nighttime skincare routine. Honestly, the best thing you can do is just cleanse your skin so you're not sleeping in your makeup and you won't wake up with a breakout. So then I just head to my room and get ready for bed. You guys will see my dog Woody here. I like to hang out with my husband, watch some TV. We diffuse essential oils and just turn down. So that's pretty much it. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.